Bloody creepy looking game. Instant beginnings, as always. <laughs> hey, you want to help? Can I make your place? A new Love and Heroes song is out. Hmm. I'm not feeling up to it today. The story creeped me out earlier. Do you want to hear it? Oh, sure. You remember Yes Yamaguchi? She wears those big glasses. I heard she's gone missing. What? No one knows where she is? No, she just disappeared. Just up and poofed from the library. One of the student librarians said she was researching something there. But then she vanished. But she's super diligent, right? One of the students thought it was weird that she'd up and leave like that. So he checked in on her, but when he did, ooh! Well, uh, <laughs> I guess she wanted a hand. <laughs> I'll punish myself with the pun. It had a really weird scar on it, so it's definitely her arm. A scar? Yeah, it looked like a dog bite. She showed it to me once. She had no idea where it came from. Hmm. For real? There's a scar like that on Mickey's leg too. Hmm? Mickey? Wait, that's... The girl who went missing, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, but it was true. What about the cursed scar? Get it out, you're scaring me. I hear snatches of idiotic ghost story. They're speaking seriously, but it's obvious they don't believe a word. They're only killing time. Rumors are the best way to do that. The sun's about to set. It's gone later than I planned. I shouldn't have stu stuck around to hear that story. I'd better hurry. Rumbles in the distance. Oh, that, this place just screams creepy. Huge mansion is in front of me. Strange. I'm sure I was just. My vision blurs, my ears buzzing. Oh, my head's swimming, it's almost like I'm drunk. What time is it? That's my wrist, but what is gone? Did I put it in my coat pocket? All I find is a business card. In elegant printed letters is the name. Saya Kuju Spirit Healer. In fact, there's a photo of the mansion. I guess this must be the Kuju Mansion then. Kuju Mansion. Saya Kuju. Those names sound familiar somehow. One way to find out. Take a deep breath, I reach out to knock. I stop when I see something on my wrist. Ooh. Bite mark! It's a strange scar. When did that... I could just imagine... I could just be imagining this, but I feel an icy chill when I look at it. My 
First pounds on the door. No reply. The light appears in the second floor window. It's probably too far from the door for them to hear me knocking. I grasp the door and find it unlocked. No point in staying outside. I'll just go in and I'll pull Dirty Owner later. Yeah, that's a smart idea. Pull Dirty Owner later. I'm sure he's not a serial killer. <laughs> Inside is shrouded in darkness. A small beam of light from the window is the only way I can see anything in there. It's dead silent except for the constant ticking of the clock's second hand. It must be the entrance hall. The entrance room extends to the second floor. Anyone home? There's no reply to my shout. Maybe they've soundproofed this place so they can't hear me down here. I guess I need to go upstairs then. The staircase is just visible up ahead. Walk towards it, cutting across the hall. I just catch a strange noise. I took a look where it was coming from. Oh my god! I've seen I've seen this is not a person, it's a doll. Someone's there and left in the darkness. I think they're staring at me. Well, I know it's a door from what I've seen on the picture, but I'll do this anyway. Uh, hello? We call out, but the person remains silent. Gulping, I hesitantly make my way over. Trepidation slowing my steps. It's a young girl. She doesn't move an inch as I approach. At least, it seems that way to me. It doesn't look like she's even breathing. Oops. Great, I creep myself out. I start to sweat. What should I do? Shaky hand, I slowly reach out and touch her skin. Not sure what I expected, but it feels unnatural somehow. Stiff and cold. Press down my arm and she makes a strange sound I heard earlier. Ah, now that makes sense. She's a doll! Doors joints crink when they move. That's what made the noise. What a relief, if disappointing. Still bloody creepy. I can only begin climbing the stairs, making sure not to trip. So we should land in the shop, sound of the bell, bliss of silence. It seems to be coming from above me. It's something o'clock! Yeah, right, it's probably an outline of a clock. I bet that's what's making the sound. Uh, let's approach it. Oh, this guys me over. It's an antique grandfather clock. Oh, this is definitely coming from here. Reach toward the glass to check inside. All of a sudden, it stops shining. Silence descends, breaking, broken only by the ticking. Oh god, I've got, my dad's got a clock like that downstairs in the green room, it's got, and the thing is, it's best left dead, because if you wind it, it has the same annoying click, you know, ticking sound, which, <laughs> as much as I'd like to keep that clock, I don't think I'd ever want to wind it, because of course it just has that constant tick, 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 because it's fixed now, but that time it was a little too spot on, it's a big coincidence. All these strange occurrences make me uneasy. But I continue on to the room with the light. So in the front door, I knock. But again, there's no reply. I try again several times, even calling out, but there's still no answer. I push on the door. It's dark inside. Strange, I definitely saw lights on in here when I was outside. Wafting through the room is an odd smell. Like surgery, like a ripe fruit. Oh, sugary, like a ripe fruit. The whole room is permeated with it. Some kind of aromatherapy, maybe? 
It's not particularly pleasant smell though. Yeah, my jaw is being further than two. Well, if my feet feels off, it's wet. Well, that's not a good sign. It dawns on me that I'm smelling something else mixed in the sweet smell. I know the scent. Oh, this metallic tang. I think I know what's going on. Only flashes in a classic glimpse of something. A startling, grotesque object stretches out across the floor beneath my feet. Something strange is here. Yes, Terry, go mad. Oh! So bizarre that I can't stop staring. What the fuck? Blooming flowers are everywhere. They're bursting out of the woman's stomach. Her blood soaked body overwhelmed with them. I my gaze away, horrified. The hellish images burn into my mind. I can feel my entire body shaking. Bile vices and all for the hell was that? The fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Next instant, lights on. Wait, that's not all. The body is gone, leaving only a stain. This doesn't make sense. It's a bad dream. At least, I'd really much prefer if it was. But the faint smell that remains and the blood stain crush any hope I had of that. Oh, Jesus. I beat a retreat from the room in an effort to escape this whole bizarre situation. I stand back in the hall, the lights are on in here as well. I decide to have another look around. All the furnishings are old enough to be antiques. They match this old fashioned mansion. Ah! Nice doll sits on the couch. It's a fucking creepy doll, is what it is. Oh shit. Oh. I was hoping to like minimize the things so and take a good picture of it, but. Oh, look at that! So, what do I do now? Contact the police? My stomach was full of flowers, sir, and the corpse up and vanished like fog. Like anyone's gonna believe that. Yokoso. The fuck? What the hell? The door moved. It spoke. A different kind of shudder run through me than the one I found the corpse. But until this point, I was nothing more than an observer to all the freaky events. I can distance myself from it now. But, now. but now a doll is talking to me. Have I startled you? If so, I sincerely apologize. My master ordered me to behave as a normal doll until told otherwise. Words were elegant and refined, but her face never moves an inch. She may look human, but she clearly isn't. Fuck it out, what's going on here? She slowly folds her hands together, so she can move too. I am sorry for not introducing myself. I am called Mary. You have likely seen a number of oddities here already. I see. My master, Sayakujo, was unable to escape from the mark then. Sayakujo? Does she mean that corpse? But wait, what's this about mark? They say it was searching for a way to escape the mark. Were you not also called here by her? Her by her because of the mark on your arm? I must be talking about this weird scar. Did say could you invite me to this mansion? I try to remember my head hurts. Oh, that's how I do it. I have something to tell you this place is my little master. But I would like to ask one thing first. Do you know your own name? Well, that was a very simple question I'm really expecting. It's...
break out into a sweat. My throat is drying up. Why? Why can't I answer? I'm sure to find I'm coming up blank. I see. Then it is as I thought. Somehow Mary knows what's going on with me. Before I offer an explanation, please decide on a temporary name. Things will go much easier if I have a name by which to call you. It's also likely you will find it hard to remain calm if you are nameless. Which is probably right. If there are some place or a name, then continue life as a hollow, nameless being. Into Brookitana's last name. Uh, yeah. Yeah, why not? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Uh, no, no, back. Uh. Uh. Where was that letter? That was it. Kazu, yeah, why not? Yeah, I'd say that that close that closely uh that's a closer approximation to my appearance than the others. I'm Kazoo Yashiki. Oh, maybe I should change it. Fuck. Right. Understood, Lord Yashiki. Now I should explain to you about the mark. It is the seal of death. Those who have it will soon die. Do you not believe me? I'm certain this sounds absurd to one who has led an uneventful life. However, my master's death proves it to be irrefutably true. Proof of sweet stench comes back to me. That didn't seem like the work of humans. I'm afraid that the horror of the mark does not stop there. The victims slowly lose their memories until the day they die. They face death all the while suffering from the terror of losing oneself. Memory loss? That can't be. That means that I'm... Yes. The fact that you have forgotten your name proves that death is coming. Lord Yashiki, you... will die this very dawn. Bloody hell. That's a that's a fucking intense way to start it up. Whew. Oh shit. My memory skips forward a bit after that. I just remember being completely stunned at what memory revealed to me. I can probably attribute it to memory loss caused by the mark. Next thing I know. Hmm? What's the blood? Oh. I'm laying in the guest room in the mansion. I vaguely recall dragging myself up the stairs and coming here. I must have fallen asleep at some point, and thanks to that, I feel a lot better. I'll die at dawn, huh? Pardon me. Fine, I do apologise, everyone. I try to say it out loud. It's definitely shocking, but I can't say it feels real yet. It doesn't make sense. Why are the blue? But if it's true, is waiting for my untimely death the only thing I can do? Maybe you could to ask Mary more about me, about it. I find Mary sitting in the exact same spot as before. She hasn't moved an inch. I doubt a dog gets bored waiting like humans do. Good morning, Yolash. Are you feeling better now? Sort of. Wonderful. Since it appears that you have calmed down, I would like to ask you a question. What will you do now? I can guide you down only two paths. The first is to wait for death. The second is to fight the mark. 
Can you help me? If that is what you wish, yes. My master was researching the mark. A few days prior to her death, she found a way to escape it. Regretfully, she passed away before she was able to inform me. So she doesn't know anything after all. There is some time yet before dawn. You have a slim chance. Salvation is a thin thread dangling from heaven. Would that you... Yeah, would that you grab hold of it, and I shall do my utmost to help. What will you do? <laughs> it boils down whether I trust her or not. She's right about all this. My time on earth is up at dawn. I don't want to die. There's no cho no other choice but to resist the mark until then. If she's lying, I'll be fine when morning comes. Am I really alright with that? Hmm. People are being killed in nonsensical, grotesque ways. Am I going to turn a blind eye to it? A life and death decision. Anything about it carefully. Face your choices that can result in death. At the end of time, your soul power will continue to drain. Time's up, or wrong answers will result in game over. So be quick and also careful to find the right answer. Complete in a deadly choice to restore your some soul power. So, you know, and the spirit will first. A certain dialogue cannot be spelled. Back along with the same previous log. Hey, Steve, how are ya? I just changed from the previous game to this one. Ah, that's how to hide it. Then I shall ask you, can you quietly wait for death or struggle against the mark? You know, for fun, let's die. Just, just for fun, let's die. <laughs> wrong. Yeah, I know that's the wrong answer, but I just want to see what happens. Then you meekly accept your death at the bar. Yes, I accept death. I know it's the wrong choice, but I'm curious what will happen. Is that so? Then please rest here in the mansion till dawn. And then the adventure ends. Good night. And game over, because I probably woke up dead. <laughs> Actually, that, that was a funny line in... Um, uh, what was it? In, in Scary Movie, when it was saying... A friend, cousin, my cousin, and then he woke up dead. How do you woke up dead? <laughs> you don't go to bed dead, fool. <laughs> well, I think the choice is very simple here. Fight the mark. I will fight them off. I've decided to trust you. As you say, Lord Yashiki. Then I should carry out the dying wish of my master and aid you. I can't do much, but feel free to request anything you wish of me. up my mind but that doesn't mean I know what to do. No squat about the supernatural and losing my memory makes my makes research impossible. But I don't have a moment to lose. What goes in the front door? We've come this late at night. Oh my, what is our fate? It seems that no that other mark bearers have arrived. 
Is it instinct that she knows these things? Maybe she has some kind of mysterious power, being a talking doll and all. I beg your pardon, I just... I do apologize, but can you go greet our guests in my stead? They may experience a shock if a doll such as myself walks, <laughs> welcomes them. I think they'll experience a shock regardless if you're standing up answering the door, if you're still sat there like a really creepy doll. However, while I am able to move my arms, I am unable to walk. Oh, okay. I move to the front door to greet our guests. People fear to die, like me. I wonder what they're like. So basically the... <laughs> well, I find the door are not who I'd expect to see out late at night. A high schooler. A small boy. These kids have the mark? No way. Um, we came to see Professor Kudu. Who are you? Can't say I'm total straight. I can't say I'm a total stranger since I am here in the mansion. I'm... Let's go with a relative, an unspecified... Uh... Oh, so you're her older brother. Your eyes do look kind of similar. She seems to know Sayo Kujo. Now that I think about it, that business card did say Spirit Healer. Going off this girl's accessories, I get the feeling she's a huge occult fan. Yeah, with the uh, little yen thing hanging around the neck and the spirit beads around her wrist. Well, I don't really see anything else that could... Oh, there's a couple of the occult thingamajigs there but on her bag. Well, she's going to be dead then. Oh, Murray, what's in the bee? I'm here to talk to her about this article she wrote in the Um Parts monthly. Um Parts? But wasn't the Um Parts that thing in um, Steins Gate? <laughs> it was in a court magazine from the back. It's either a picture of the mark. A company article says that Scar is a soul inhibiting disease that erases memories in quiet at Kujo Mansion. Um, this is the same scar, right? Wait, let's just skirt up a bit. Show me her leg. Right down her right thigh is the mark. And I think for obvious reasons they couldn't show us the mark. I, I think it's kind of obvious. I think I know what the article means by erasing memories. I've been super forgetful lately. I'm even blanking on my friend's names. It's never happened to me before. Do you find the scars doing this? The article is obviously bogus. The young boy scoffs. You know, and kids don't better than believe in ghosts or curses these days. And a high schooler fell for it. You must feel embarrassed about that. But, Tsukasa, when you were hanging around, around outside the mansion's gate, fess up, your scar scares you. Because mm. it seems to have no retort to that. He suddenly scoffs. It's like a bullseye. It's clear they're both mark bearers. I'd better bring them over to meet Mary. Oh great, that's not gonna uh, <laughs> calm situation down, is it? Mary shrieks excitedly when she gets close. Oh my god, it's so cute! It's a doll, yeah? I've never seen one this big before. The Christmas should be so detailed. It's almost like it's alive. They're both admiring her when. Welcome to the kitchen. Oh, what? It spoke? With that, the two new visitors join our number. They enter this monstrous world that hovers on the precipice of death. Mary tells Murray to go about the mark once they regain their composure. All about the steady memory loss and their imminent death. It's not a ridiculous story, but it gains validity coming from someone like her. Oh yeah, of course it would. I mean... <laughs> I mean, she's a doll. That's talking to him. Neighbor's dog. Arf, 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 arf. Both of their faces pale. Now, if you, if 
you came specifically here because you believe Lady Sayer's article, you must have already experienced the pain of losing your memories. I won't admit it as much earlier, but I can see in Scratch's face darken, so it must be happening to him too. Hey, Moe, I'd like to confirm something. Where were you when you got the mark? My memory she seems to be worse than theirs, so they might remember. I'm not positive, but I think my mark might be a curse from Hanahiko. Hey, Lord Maxwell, welcome back. <laughs> Hanahiko? His name is familiar to me. He is the ghost the resident children of this town whisper about, correct? My master was interested in him. So Sayakujo was curious too. Could be connected to the mark somehow. Anyway, you missed some of the horrific uh, images already, uh, Maxwell. There was a... <laughs> We found a. When I moved to this game, we found a dead body, and the way it died was clearly. A, clearly a supernatural way, because it was dead because of, like, flowers and stuff that burst out of its gut. You know, pretty horrible. Oh, you never left. Oh, I thought you had. Because <laughs> you didn't say anything about when I was changing games, whether that was good or not. <laughs> I'd like to hear more about the ghost. As you wish, Lord Yashi. Then I shall tell you the rumours of Hanahiko. Please be voiced, please be voiced. Hanahiko. Fuck it now. Oh, did you hear? About the ghost boy on schools in the hate city you're talking about? It sounds like Hanahiko is back. I heard that he could appear if you peek in a school mirror at night, he'll ask you something. Am I pretty? If you tell him no, you'll be fine, but if you say yes, Give me that red stuff then. And then he just disappears. But that's not all. Anikyo hates adults, you know. I heard that if the person he asks is the ad is an adult, they'll die. And not just drop dead. Their blood is drained from them. Is he a ghost or a vampire? I'm not even playing some ukulele. And the impossible layer. Ah, I have been meaning to play some ukulele actually. I've got it on my list, but I've not been sure when to bring it out. Although now it seems I'm running out of PC games to put on the playing soon list, I might as well add that soon. <laughs> and next to the corpse is a single rose. <laughs> a rose dripping with blood. Rumors can be easily manipulated. Passing from one person to another, assumptions and errors mix in. But they also hold a hint of truth. Miss Murray, do you know anything else? Hmm. I th think I probably got my mark when I was investigating Hanakiko at H Elementary School. This has got to be some sort of clue. Ask you more about it. Um. Hmm. My big dream is to write about the occult, so I'd love to see a ghost. I found this article in the magazine mentioning how you killed a scene there. I figured that place would be easier to sneak in than a regular school, since it's been closed down. Uh, I don't think so. I can't really say for sure. I went to the mirror. A shiver suddenly went down my spine. I got spooked and left. Okay, when should you notice the mark? I said later in the bath. A strange scar was suddenly on my thigh. It really surprised me. 
I realized immediately that it had to be what Professor Kuju wrote about. I think I have a handle on what happened. I don't know for sure about the ghost, but there's no denying she had the mark after returning home from H Elementary. Then maybe. There's a glitter down its left hand. Mine might be from Hanihiko too. I noticed it when I got home from T Elementary. That ghost was seen a lot in schools in H City, right? Maybe he's remembering something. That's the questions too. T Elementary? I get a school there. You've probably heard of it since it's the top ranked elementary school in H City. Maybe around sunset? I was heading home until I realised I forgot something and turned back. No, I didn't get any ch get chills or anything either. But. Oh, but I think I passed a mirror. To the bathroom before going home. Don't think there's any more. The stories are pretty similar to how many goofy rumors. Can't be just coincidence. You must have rescued the places where Hanahiko appeared. For their sake as well as yours. Ah, that's well and good, but what exactly am I investigating? Death and life coexisting. The mark originated there, then a way to erase it would also be there. You must find it. Find the key you need to break the mark's curse. That is the only way to escape. And all of a sudden, a huge burden was dropped on my shoulders. It seems that Hanahiko appeared at two schools. Hmm. The H was a rumoured one. But it definitely appeared to be true when she walked past when she was there, she felt a chill. I wonder. But T being a newer school. Oh shit. Put the volume up. I <laughs> put my arm on that by accident. Sorry about that. So, my theory. Hmm. I'm thinking H should be easier because uh, it's a, I think it's a shut down elementary school. Yeah, that's probably wise. They'd arrest you on the spot if you try to sneak into a victim. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If <laughs> Especially. Especially if you've got a beard and glasses, they would definitely arrest you on site if you started sneaking around at elementary school at night. Well, even if you didn't have a beard and glasses, if you were... If you were just sneaking around at elementary school at night, there would be some serious tough questions that the police would have to ask you. And I highly doubt the police would easily, uh... Easily be dissuaded if you simply said, Oh, it's okay, I'm looking for ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I I, hi I highly doubt that they would just, you know, uh, go like, oh, okay, then that'll be fine. It's strange that it's happened at two separate schools, though. But the one constant appears to be a mirror. Something to do with a mirror. An aged man can't who can't recall his name, let alone his dress or job title. I don't I have no excuses if I got caught. Want me to go in then? Let's do this. Wait, we're coming too? Uh of course. I haven't given up on seeing Hanako yet. She grins at me. Is she really strong? Or is this just blind optimism? <laughs> the latter, surely. I'm going to Hey, not you too, seriously? My life's on the line here. I don't want the reason I die to be because you messed something up. <laughs> Good point. That's pretty good. Good thing you're cute. <laughs> but to bring kids along with me is... I understand your hesitation, but the mark does not discriminate stealing lives of children and adults. If they wish to fight their, if they wish to fight their fate, you should honor that. 
suppose human logic doesn't fly when dealing with the supernatural. True. <laughs> we we'll need to repair ourselves the worst if we're going to be survive. Please take only one mark bearer with you, however. A large group will increase the odds of you being detected by spirits. I also ask that you do not waste time dawdling with others on the way. It is possible unnecessary contact may hasten the effects of the mark. Only engage when absolutely necessary. Keep contact with others to minimize. Second partner. So the mark bearer do this partner menu. Oh, hey, Mr. What do you think if we get a deer to take notes of on Mary's <laughs> on what Mary's told us? And Mary's getting worse all the time. We don't want to forget anything. I don't know when I'll lose my memory again. I do the information I get and keep it in my file. Something in it might just save our lives at some point. New info has been added to the spirit file. Rumors of Hadahiko. Other. Important info and spirits will be added to the spirit file. Check it out in your bag. Consult if you need help. Turn the title of the screen from the bag to load. And choose continue. Okay. Power 10, intelligence 10, spirit power 9, dexterity. Oh shit, no. Uh. Oh, I've got a <laughs> I've got a weapon on me. A silver letter opener. Okay. Beautiful woman's face is engraved on the handle, blade and sharp, but it, hand but it can handle soft items. Command stab with knife. Range is short. Mm. Uh, let's have uh, Moe with us. You must an upbeat your own drum. In his private school, his wealthy upbringing makes him polite and courteous. But he can be insufferable in times. When he's in danger, his true egotistical self-centered nature peeks through. Oh, I bet. Well, I al I already like only one of the characters. <laughs> the cheeky prodigy or the occult lover. Yeah, that's part of the occult lover. Before we go to... Uh, Mark bearer. Before we go and investigate, first we have to get to H Elementary. Well, it says we're free to use the car in the garage. Oh, that's useful. Garage is from the detached mansion. Vintage model van, bicycle only. I sent the elegant interior. Thank God for careless people. The car, has, the car key <laughs> was left on the table. Oh, that's thankful. Time to go. Uh, hey, according to Mary, you lost a bunch of your memories, right? Is it really okay for you to drive? She looks a bit suspiciously. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be fine, I think. I'll come back when I take the wheel. <laughs> but, but that is to convince myself. But aren't you missing your license? If a cop finds us, we'll be more than Hanniko. She's right about that. But our lives are on the line, so we don't have much choice. Once the mark's gone, I'll remember. Then I'll just have to reissue it. I assume I haven't got one. <laughs> uh, now I'm even more worried. <laughs> just drive safe, okay? Alright, we need to go to H Elementary. <laughs> I like that idea, though. It's like, if I did get a license, better drive at a normal pace. Human bullets are remarkable. Back in the garage, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to drive or not. But the second my hands touched the wheel, I wasn't worried anymore. Yep, muscle memory. Must have reacted quicker than I expected. And it's now easy to guide the monster down the road. But now, 
Thoughts of what I could no longer do start to filter into my head. Hey, mister. Well, he pipes up hesitantly. I probably let the silence go on for too long. Didn't seem as cheerful as she was a little while ago. What's it like to use your memories? That's a hard question to answer. What do you mean? Like, do they all go at once, or a few pieces at a time? What if you're only left with sad memories? I'd hate that. I don't think it would work like that, but... I have no idea if it's getting worse or better. I know what it's like to begin with, so there's nothing to compare to. In that sense, rather than the memories vanishing, it's like everything has been painted white. That's what it feels like. Oh. You sure I'm a chore mission? You take everything so calmly. The conversation dwindles, leaving only the sound of the tires of the road. Then thoughts start popping in my head again, one after another. I know you have to check out that mirror, but what else should we investigate? What do you think? No oh, glances over at me. No idea. I can't even remember my own name. How the hell am I supposed to know what we're doing? Oh, please, I'm really counting on you. Think whatever you want. I'm talking to a child, I need to show some restraint and be a good example. That's definitely how I feel. Still on the steering wheel. Door in the mansion, the mark bearers, the mark, the spirits. Yeah, that, that bit there. Look at that fucking thing. Look at that image. I mean, look at that. It's like plant life just came to life and ravaged the way all the way through her body like some kind of, I don't know. Like what happens if you piss off a, dr a dryad in like a dark fantasy world. Well, in normal fantasy worlds, all they do is tie you up in vines, but in a dark fantasy world, they're like, okay. And then you start sprouting shit like this out of your body. Or well, you turn into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> nice to you and laugh there, Steve. <laughs> oh, I'm good and buried in all the crushing thoughts that keep popping in my head. Well, it waits me down the dark road. I feel a flutter from my mark of my wrist. It's trying to warn me. I may not be, might be able to understand, but my body can sense it. That death is closing in. If that's happening, isn't if that's happening, isn't the problem anymore? It's more. How long do I have left? How much longer is it? I almost yelled, but I managed to swallow it down with effort. I think we're almost there. Really? It's closer than four. Yeah, I can see a big H in the corner. That might be it. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly right. At any time, it could... A lot closer than you think. Actually, I heard there's a dryad in uh, the Thief games, but I've never played them. Looming ominously in the day in the night light, the school definitely looks abandoned. For quite a number of years, in fact, the walls are starting to crack. All the windows are broken as well. Thick chain in front of the main gate to keep you from going in. Well, oh shit! Hey, you there? None of us. The other voice comes from a man in guard uniform. He must be patrolling the area. Looks like we got caught. Oh shit. This probably belongs to the city. No one's allowed inside. Didn't you know? Or are you up to something? Bunch of people have been coming in here on dare since it's haunted. You aren't one of them, are you? <sighs> it's haunted? Well, that's what the rumors are saying. It's giant pain. Mo well, nods in agreement. It is pretty famous, after all. 
God size. Anyway, the school's off the limit, so you can't go inside. I don't want any trouble for my first shift here. Please, Please Steve. Okay. Well, anyway, so the guard makes his way into the school. So you watch him leave, rolling to and whispers. Damn, it wasn't a guard when I stuck in before. Better not get caught. Moving around a haunt. Now it shows which way you're facing when you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I better save it first rather than. Hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, I have to. No. I told you not to come in here! Oh, I have a hand inside. Whoa, it's so dark. Can't see anything like this. Moonlight doesn't reach inside. I'll have to use a flashlight. If I use a flashlight, I'll find this. Can't do anything about that, I guess. And the mirror is. Hmm, pretty sure it's to the right on the stairs. Search the current area. Shine a flashlight on areas of interest and press A. Pressing S sends the search. Here's the uh, end of search and move, okay. If I get any warnings, then list of contacts. Uh, do not leave handprints in the mirror on the west east on the eastern staircase. Thank you. Memories of presentation, first floor, multi-purpose classroom. Come check it out. Ah, oh, presentation takes it back. Hey, anyway, the mirror on the eastern staircase is the one I saw. Yeah, it's the right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Lost and found. Uh, what times are kept in the storage in the staff room? Please check there if you're missing something. I touched the paper. Disintegrates the second my fingers reach. It's going, yeah. Nothing else looks interesting. Yeah, I didn't think so. No. There's a shoe there. Bad shoe rack, it's covered in dirt. Our oh, platforms are broken when slats in the shoe rack. They creak when you step on them. Okay, then don't step on them. It's all I can think of. Seeing as filthy and fluorescent lights are broken. Right. Anyway, we need to go right. Hmm? As we enter the hallway, a small shadow flits across our feet. Turn them on the flashlight to find it. Ah, it's a rabbit! It's a fucking demon spawn rabbit! Jesus, look at that thing! It wants your soul! <laughs> Honestly, I'm looking at that thing and I think it wants your soul! Is it a school pet? Hop to it! Oh, Steve! Like how it squeaks and runs away. It rushes toward the eastern end of the school. Oh, it ran away. Is it telling us to follow? <laughs> yeah, right. Moon info has been added. Black Rabbit. said the eastern way so I'm not a staircase yet let's keep going yeah that's the staircase over here if I do this I shut my move okay oh fucking 
That was funny timed. Just saw a fucking ghost there in the corner. Climb the stairs. Oh, well, there it is. This is it. This is the move I saw. That's how I was saying. I'm sure of it. Huh? Then a dull pain runs through my wrist. Like something is biting into my skin. So I'm showing myself in the pain. I keep talking with Moe. It certainly looks normal. Y yeah, what do you do? Hmm. All the stains make it hard to see your reflection. I suddenly face the mirror, bring my face up to it, and peer into a cloudy surface. I expect I can't make anything out. What I see is my own shadow reflected as a vague shadowy lump. My shadow is sways in the mirror. At least that's what I thought at first. See the shadow moved because I had. But the next time the shadow moves, a cold shiver runs through my spine. That's not my shadow. Something is in the mirror! <sighs> Fucking hell. Oh, he yelps and steps back. Well, that confirms I'm not hallucinating. There really is something in there. He must have my body locks. I try to look away, but I can't even close my eyes. The figure's mouth twists. I don't want to look, but I can't even close my eyes. It opens its mouth. An odd voice pierces my ears. Uh oh. You are die situation again. Am I pretty? If I remember, it says we're meant to say no, because if we say yes, we're dead. Apparently. No, you're an ugly little fuck. If I only had that red stuff. I can't see well. Are you a grown up? Uh, I'm a tourist in my class. Because if it's a grown up, they'll kill you anyway. Big people aren't allowed in school. Oh shit. It's in the mirror cracks. It cracked. Now I can't see. No more big people here. Ah. That's interesting. So the mirror smashing, um, from the looks of it, it's he who smashed it. Fucks up his own vision, so he can't do anything about it. Figure disappears. We survived! Uh oh. Scream echoes on the other those things to the floor. They gasp in panic, disbelief for a while. What, what was that? That was probably Hanahiko. Couldn't say the word stuck in my throat. My mouth is completely dry. I, I can't believe this. I, I thought I wanted to see a ghost. But but to see that one clearly. Oh, it seems to shake the encounter off and return to normal. Nico's words swirl around my head. Our situation has done a complete reverse from where we were going just a moment ago. I can't believe I was complaining about not knowing what to investigate. Oh, uh, anyway. That scream, what was that? Oh, we met outside. I doubt there's anyone else here. Might have seen something wherever it is too. So I came from far away, ways down the hallway. Now we're the other side of the school. I mean, a scream like that, something might happen to him. Right, so I responded, I hear someone whisper in my ear. Purify with red. I'm in the direction of the voice, but all I see is darkness. Mister? Oh, it's nothing. Let's go. New info is the spirit mirror. How can you get the mirror? What 
upstairs. Oh! I found something in squash. <laughs> Soft squash, but my feet. Be pick up the shine of my light. Snakes! Hallway is covered in poisonous snakes. I guess that was something close to a street upon seeing them. Snakes! Snakes! We decided to go back down and land. <laughs> that's a clever idea. I would uh, That's what I would decide too. Fucking hell. Yeah, let's go back down the stairs. Looks hissed off. <laughs> okay, that room's locked. Bird crying because of science. I guess there's a crew or something outside. Ah! <laughs> Fucking hell. You see that? Let's enter the room anyway because I want to fuck around a bit. Hmm? It's an abandoned desk. Oh, the desk is slightly rusty. Okay. Turn the desk around and stick my hand inside. I've got holy hard hat. I doubt that's very useful. Ah, oh, you never know. What's uh, what have we got then? A yellow hard hat for a child. It's got holes and it's missing its padding, so it's likely not very effective. It can be forced on an adult head with effort. No, it's locked. Of course it is. Oh, let's into this room. What does that say? Let's go to scribble on the backboard. What's that hole? It's a hole in the wall. I see something stuck deep inside. Yeah, let's put a hot hand on the wall. What's the worst that can happen? Uh, I can't reach what's inside. Um, hmm. I'm guessing we need a stick or something. That's the thing on the scene that just walking around causes a shower of particles. It's the bad and desk. Feel around. A plastic bottle. There's nothing inside the bottle. Well, my commandy. Uh, hmm. So let me move the hole and scrape around the object stuck inside. Ah! Got a walnut talisman. Fill the wolf, blow through me. Yay! Soul power! Crumbles instantly into my hand. Oh. Well, I don't know. Saw your soul power. The more soul power you have, the easier it is to survive any choice. Nice! Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> I heard noise. Something slamming against the door. I is someone inside? So a flashlight at the end of the door. Oh god! Well, he's fucked. Out of nowhere, a door bursts open and something flies out. Oh, he shrieks and falls down. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. The way that he's close, some kind of plant covered half of his face. Part of his face is seen as twisted in anguish as he screams. No doubt about it, it's that guard. What the hell happened? 
Stunned to the just syllables. <laughs> God damn! Well, there's your horror infusion for the day. <laughs> Suddenly, rushed off towards the entrance, and then silence falls once more. And sound left is our shaky breathing. As we catch our breath, I take Mo's hand and help him up. Our nerves have calmed some, but that definitely left an unsettling impression. Something terrible lurks here. We can't just sit around. Uh, I felt like I was paralysed. I'm okay now. But mister, that guy... Oh, he stares at the door. I wonder if Hanahiko did that. Uh, and I don't know if you noticed, but it got the feeling someone was standing behind him. Yeah, I saw Hanahiko was standing there. There's really no good way to respond to that. I let silence serve my answer. Tell us my answer. What else can I do? No point in coming here if we're just gonna stand here shaking. Don't count uncover the secret before it comes for us. Why don't we check the staff room? Go ahead and answer your most question. Go on, but not out there. Something might be inside. Some secret about Hanahiko. Yeah, yeah you're right. Let's just be careful, okay? Okay, this is my palm, making sure Hanakita doesn't notice. The moment I put my hand on the doorknob, the mark burned my skin, pulsing along with my beating heart. Plantified guard! I go in the bag windows, make the floor cold and damp. Oh, no, that piercing cold wind inside. Alright, let's go into the room then. Furniture is up ended and the walls are. Was there a fire here or something? There's a black scorch marks everywhere. Phew. I might just believe that they came out from behind me. Whoa, it's totally empty. A anyway, stick around. Oh, there's a door over there too, it looks like there's another room. Oh, first let me have a look at these things. Oh, near the window is burnt. There must have been fire here long ago. Alright, let's try that door. And the door into the staff room. It's kind of cramped in here. Is this a storage room? Seems to be. Look, there's something useful in there. Massive wooden cabinet. I put on the door, it just rattles in place, like it won't open. Something's stopping it. Um, Light opener. Take out the light opener. I've taken it out, but I can't think of any way to use it. <laughs> Oh, that, that was useful. Thank you. Oh, sh the fuck? Creepy fucker. Let's do and check inside if there isn't anything that catches my eye. I think it's a school journal. Papers deteriorate from age and bugs. I can't read it. Let's try this again. No, okay, it won't open because there's something holding it in place. And that one? No, I can't just bash my way into it. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Let's try this trap door. It'll handle us attracted into the door. I'm going to grasp it and put it out, but it's unsuccessful. I'll use the low open to reach for it then. I'd be able to pop the handle out. I squat down on the door. Mark bites into my wrist again. It's almost like I was trying to stop me from searching under the floor. I sound pretending to be calm. Okay, that's worrying. Something dangerous must be here. What's wrong? I guess what it is? 
I'll uh, check it out later. I came up right vague as I dust off my knees. Let's move around the room first. There's a bunch of interesting stuff in here. No, there isn't. I've looked at everything. I don't know beneath our feet. But we better make sure we're prepared if we're going down there. Well, I guess we won't have to worry about the guy interrupting us because he's uh, um, a bit busy. Let's go this way, explore more of the school. It's a fire door. What if I was a wall? About to give up and close the door and I notice something stuck in the back of it. What a talisman! Woohoo! More soul power! No mirror on this bit of the stairs. Oh, what's that? Pieces of concrete on the floor. I think they came from the walls. Oh, what's upstairs on this side? More snakes! I thought we trying to keep going. Yeah, going back is the best idea. We find out what happened to that guy. So we need to just keel over. What's stopping it? Oh, a simple lock, just sliding something. Just sliding, just sticking something in the hole for the screw. Key itself seems to have gone missing. I didn't see it anywhere. What's this? Something stuck in the hole for the screw. It seems a wooden thing works as a lock. I'll have to do something about that if I want to open the door. Okay. Oh, opener. If I can shove it in, maybe a pop or whatever's stuck in the hole. That's the idea, at least. But no, it won't fit at all. Off is too big. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's nothing else I found in this place. Come on. Let's try this again. Might be able to put the handle on it. Let's down. There's nothing else to check in here! Unless I've missed something. Maybe a... There's been post and he falls from the top of it. <laughs> I found another Tasman. Because there's nothing there, what's there? No, it's just burnt from fire. Hmm. What the hell are snakes doing in the school anyway? We've already taken everything from here. Okay. 
Okay, let's go that way. Hmm. Door's locked. Okay, let's have a closer look. It's a locked door. Oh, well, uh, thank you for that. Keyhole isn't rusted off. If I had a key, I could open it. Where's the alarm? No, the alarm is very faint. Something might be wrong with it. Oh, I shouldn't like to see if there's something inside. What well, talisman? Well, I found a lot of worn-out talismans. That's a positive, I guess. Contacts. <laughs> but I don't find anything in particular. Of course not. If we go to the entrance, what can we... Nothing, I can't even find the dead... I can't even find the guard if he's dead or not. Which I assume that he is. He certainly can't be alive after that. No, I... I pressed right anyway. Anything I missed here? Uh, we got something out of that, didn't we? And then we left here. What's up here? Looks like something smashed the fluorescent lights. Is Shut up beyond repair. Okay. Nope, locked. But is it properly locked? It's a locked door. If I had a key, I could open it. Okay. Uh. Try to even fit inside. Wow, so cool. Oh, you do it yourself then. No, no. Oh, we checked that. Because it was nothing here, was there? See reflection. Oh, yeah, it's all about it. But nothing happens. Uh, I'm gonna stab it with a knife. No, it didn't that work. That 
leads upstairs, which is where the snakes are. Why on earth there's fucking deadly cobras up there? I don't know. Well, it won't let me progress, so I better just go back to the fucking mansion. Why are you being in the mirror? You must be Hanahiko. You can get other traces of Hanahiko within the school. Please continue your investigation. Uh. Let me guess, I'm gonna have to change partners. This one was locked, wasn't it? Well, if I use low, would he tell me how to open it? Okay, yeah, that was a dead end. Oh, that didn't help. <laughs> yeah, I should have turned the mansion. Choose the mansion, we'll just, yeah, we'll just end up here. Uh. Saw that black rabbit, which didn't seem, which just seemed very, very strange. Saw the boy in the mirror and he smashed the fucking mirror. And then that happened to the poor uh, guard. But beyond that, I'm stuck. <sighs> but you know what? It's a good time to end, I guess. I guess it's a good time to end anyway, because uh, it's gone 10 and I 
can find someone to raid. Let's see. I assume there's somebody to raid. Goes to Sushima. Well, for lack of another choice, Iggy is always the best choice. <laughs> Alright, and now... So everyone has an interesting uh, stream as usual, but... Hopefully you'll pick up later this week. Uh, later, later this week. See you guys later. <laughs>